Hello everybody, welcome to a first look and possibly first episode of a series on Devil's Deck. Um, this game is in early access, it is primarily uh, uh, Chinese developers so you'll see that it's not entirely localized to English yet, I haven't looked at it really, but uh, it's a roguelite uh, card based game. Um, that, from what my friend tells me, looks a little differently from Slay the Spire. So, see from the options, we got help, settings, credits, animation, and exit. Let's look at the settings real quick. We've kind of, we can turn down the music. Um, looks like you can do full screen or windowed mode, and I'm not going to mess with it, but, uh, uh, what is that? I'm not sure what that is, but doesn't matter fast mode keywords moon well guide I'm not sure what that is what is this uh, looks like cards items and enemies we've got cards so we <clears throat> okay so it looks like you got three characters each with minion spells artifacts and curses um, assume that the starting deck is different from each one uh, we've got trophies, so these must be achievements. So you can see there's quite a few achievements. Hope these all work. I, I can't tell you whether it does or not. Um, there's hero, adventure, combat, and hidden. I guess hidden is just uh, achievements that you'll get when you unlock them. And what is this? This is a leaderboard. Oh. Yeah, so there's a leaderboard for each character, and clearly um, there's a lot of Chinese players. And there's high score and fastest victory. Uh, this has a previous page, this is next page, so you can just scroll through. Refreshes on the first day of each month. Okay, so it's a month-long leaderboard. Uh, maybe there will be overall leaderboards, or maybe not. This is in early access. Um, Again, you know, there might be some localization difficulties, but from what I hear, the English is good enough, so... Um, so you can choose between Bronze Shaman... Among Bronze Shaman, Rage Fire Mage, um, who has a little less HP and whose all enemies take two more damage this turn, Breath of Fire... Uh, this one is Gift of the Wild. Give your any minions plus one attack and heal them for six HP. I don't know what CD is. Um, Mana Shackles. All enemy cards cost three more next turn. Um, let's look at the help real quick. Overview. Types. There are four kinds of cards. Minion, Spell, Artifact, and Curse. Cost. Uh, basically how much it costs to play the card. Minion, summon a minion to the battlefield. Besides the cost, a minion has attack and HP. HP of minion cannot be higher than the max HP. Spell cards, playing a spell at the right time can be helpful. Artifacts cards, two kinds of artifact, hero and minion. Former is uh, for heroes, and your hero can equip at most five at the same time. Each minion can equip at most two. Wait. Your hero, like yourself, I guess. And then minions can have two artifact cards attached. Those are like... I guess if you played uh, Magic the Gathering, it sounds like enchantments. Except for there's a limit, which is okay. Curse cards. Negative effects, be careful. You know, forget about the uh, forget about the typos or whatever. It doesn't matter, right? Mystery. Four, three floors. There's lore. Or, the mystery has three floors. Getting harder and harder, the last boss on the third layer is the final boss. Only defeat, could you complete a level? So, okay, Heroes HP, Countdown, every move you make in the mystery consumes a day. You'll, consume, you'll encounter an enemy every five days. Combat, uh, well, events, these are probably different things that you can see in the grids. Merchant, uh, Lost Temple. You can remove cards, time pillar, increase days, moon well, heal, chest, probably give you an extra card, roulette, um, so like a chance encounter, 
monster and elite different powerful enemies uh, alchemy huts you can upgrade minions or spells portal oh my goodness there's a lot of stuff yeah there's a lot of stuff looks like uh, there's leveling up because if you go to the library you get XP um, live shrine oh you can increase your max XP HP and some well is heal okay spirit alter transform combat well do we want to read through this heroes HP you know don't let it drop down to zero mana you can hardly do anything without enough mana gotcha max start of each turn you get max mana okay good here that sounds like magic the gathering you know um, hero skill unique hero skill and generic draw skill uh, okay I require mana deck you got your deck graveyard dead from uh, minion spell cards you played and cards you immolate or discard will go in the graveyard each turn when you finish operation you need to click and turn basic rules draw one card at the beginning you needn't draw in the first turn. What does that mean? I don't know. Auto attack. Once you click in turn, all friendly minions launch attack. In order from left to right, each minion would first attack the one ahead. If there's nothing ahead, it would attack the opponent. So, sounds like Magic the Gathering. If there's no blocking uh, enemies, um, your opponent actually takes damage. Can't attack. A minion which enter the battlefield cannot attack this turn. That sounds like summoning sickness to me. Uh, hand limit, uh, number of hands you can keep at the end of your turn. So this is a hand limit. Uh, number of cards you can keep at the end of your turn, which are okay, so you discard if you have too many. Auto shuffle, when your deck is empty, all the cards in the graveyard will be shuffled back into the deck. Triggers. What are these? Other related effects on the battlefield take priority of being triggered, and then battle cry is triggered. Death rattle is triggered first. Triggers, oh, I don't know what this is. Uh... I have no idea what this is. Calculation. You know what? Let's just start because um, I'm clearly not getting much out of this. Um, let's go back to the main page. No, let's not. Let's because there was a thing. Let's go back to the main page. Sure. There was a thing on uh, animation that I wanted. Uh, this credits. Um, animation. I think this isn't like the lore. I don't know if it's gonna trigger upon starting a new game, so let's just look at it right here. Hundreds of years after the war, all races had been recuperating. However, Devil is coming. With a huge shadow covering the land, the world is about to sink into darkness again. You come out with warriors together and you are all thrown into a space by the devil. It seems to be a trap. But first, you have to survive in the place and go out. Okay, so not a very useful. So basically, you have people that are trapped by the devil and you gotta get out. <laughs> All right, we'll start with the Bronze Shaman. Um, seems like uh, probably the one with a slightly more HP and uh, give your minions plus one attack and heal them for six HP. Seems like a good deal. Um, uh, I don't know, you know, how this is going to play out. So let's just embark and see. Years after the war. Oh boy. All can I skip? I can skip. So you can actually, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know, I could have just clicked start and we would have seen the animation. But I didn't know and I want to make sure you didn't miss the lore. So, there you go. Is somebody talking to us? Uh, looks like we got a hex grid here. Um, looks like the grids actually have little symbols on them. And there's, uh, so we'll see how this goes, right? You finally woke up. And you have a thumping headache. Where? am I and who are you here is devil's territory you are caught here and in depth held in depth I managed to help you out my name is Li Leah and I'm here to help you out I remember now thank you so what should I do next 
Only by defeating a devil can you go out. But you're weakened much now. You should first explore around and try to improve yourself. <clears throat> so you need to defeat the devil in order to get out of the space. Um, but you need to improve your skills and etc. Looks like uh, it's a 20 turn timeline and every 20 turns you face an enemy. And there's a boss on the end of the floor, so let's see what we can do. Bad news, during the time when you were, sorry, a little slow, in the coma, devils uh, had sent guards to look for you. We'd better hurry up. Let's go. So, in other words, um, we're being sought out by the devil, uh, and we need to defeat the devil in order to leave. Um, I don't know if we can go, looks like the forest are just blacked out grids you can't click on them so you got to move from one to the next right so chest you can draw a card oh they light up gotcha chest to your surprise there are two cards in the chest they are just in front of you without anything else you look carefully and there seems to be no danger take magic spore times two we'll get two of these give all friendly minions whenever it is healed gain plus one attack yeah, yeah, so this is like an enchant creature. Uh, well, it's more like an enchantment. Uh, whenever a friendly minion is healed, it gains plus one attack. Very useful, but it is also a... It's a minion. This is a magic spore. It's not just an enchantment because this one has two health... Or two attack and 16 health. So we'll take two of those and... Like a tree ant speaking to us. I feel you. You have no choice. Chance, sorry. Guards are around here. I hit a position which could delay the guards coming for now. Make the most of your time. So, I know there's going to be grammar issues, so I'm just going to read them as if, uh, you know, however I would speak. So, oh, we get a tutorial. Okay. Each of your steps costs one day. You'll encounter an enemy every five days. All right, so now we can move to unknown uh, or a spirit altar. Transform cards. I guess I can probably look at my deck. So I got minions, I got dire wolves. In, uh, I've got cheetahs, got three cheetahs. Got two magic spores, which has got three thorn tigers. It looks like these cost one to cast. Those two cost two to cast and we have a jungle thunder. Thunderer. <laughs> uh, ape. At the start of your turn, heal 2 HP. Gotcha. Okay, so we have, other than these creatures, just these er enraging assault. Command a friendly minion to attack its opposite minion. Uh, it's like an interrupt. If the enemy is attacking, maybe you could use it to attack instead. I, ha I have no idea. Uh, and that's it, right? Okay, yeah, that's just a number of pages. We have 14 cards in our deck, which is not too little and not too many. Rune stones. I can make magic crystals into rune stones. We got 50 of those. And you can buy them. Hmm. Well, wait, why is this 23? That's probably a bug. I don't think I have 23 cards. I got 14. We got 50 gold. Um, level 1. Alright, let's go to unknown because the spirit altar... Oh, well, actually we should go to the spirit altar. Oh wait, there's another life shrine. I wonder... I can't scroll around here, so it looks like it's just going to be centered on my character. Um transform cards i'm curious as to what the transformation does but let's i guess we'll go into a unknown first i'm curious as to what that is blacksmith upgrade one artifact or reform transform what is transform i'm curious about transforming um we'll have to find out blacksmith you find an abandoned blacksmith where the foraging tools are all covered with dust there is furnace that can still be used you're full of energy and ready to work Oh, you can just leave as well. I wonder why it doesn't highlight any of these. Um, oh. 
Great, I can't... Uh, it's because I don't have any artifacts, so we just gotta leave. Um... What is this? Gain XP. Let's go to this spirit altar, I guess. And... Accept help transform... Oh, it tells you what it's going to transform it into. Um, so Cheetah, we have three and ten. So this is going to transform one of them. Why wouldn't we want to? No, oh, it transformed into something that's completely different. So now we have a flower fairy. Heal random damaged friendly minion for three HP. Sure. So it's a little less attack, but it has a... It has additional benefits. You can go to the library to gain experience or time pillar. You can increase days. What does that mean? Well, huh. I guess you can go whatever you want. I'll take the increased HP. Stay outside, gain 25 to 55 or pay 40 gold. Something happened in the library. No one's here. There are lots of books. Uh, center part is locked up and a sign says enter after paying. Um, I don't know what gold is for. I'm curious. I'm okay just not taking it. I'm curious about the time pillar. So we've already used up four of our turns. So if we go to the time pillar, do we get more time back? Time pillar, reinforce. Day plus one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shining green all the time. You heard that enforcing the seal can delay the time of the devil's coming. So, yeah, so that gives you a free turn in terms of moving. Moving while we know is a healing shrine. Roulette, gain gold. Um, random encounter. We can get a card there. Um, let's go to roulette because we feel like playing the lottery today. There are creatures standing around a lucky roulette. Uh, on the tables there are lots of gold coins and a spinning golden gyro. Uh, you decide to join them. Colors. Pay 10 gold and have a 70% chance of gaining 100. Numbers. Pay 10 gold and a 50% gaining um, 140 gold, or we have 30% chance, or enough is enough, gain 20 gold. Well, I'm good to take the higher chances. And so we got 100 gold, and of course now we tree ant guard. That was a tree ant. Um, so active skill by the tree ant, if HP is less than 5, heal for 2 HP. Is that... Uh, a per turn thing? I'm curious. Let's fight the tree yet and see what happens. So we got HP, max mana, hero skill, draw card skill, and how many cards are in your hand? Immolation altar. You need mana to play a card or use a skill. You cannot do anything without enough mana. Uh, cost, attack, HP, minion, or spell. Um, after immolating a card, you gain one mana, one max mana. At the start of your turn, your mana will regenerate up to the max. Gotcha. So you can destroy a card to increase your mana. After en clicking end turn, your minions will attack in order. Minions that have just entered the battlefield this turn cannot launch attack. Again, summoning sickness as displayed by a that. The number before the skill on the minion refers to the mana that is needed to use the skill. Oh, so you it costs two to use the fairy, to summon the fairy, and then one to use the skill. Mana that is a uh, hero artifact is in a similar way. So, yeah, you pay mana to do, to do what you got. Oh, I didn't click the don't show this again, so it'll probably pop up at a different time. So place a card in the immolation altar and gain one mana, one max mana. Seen as uh, I have uh, so I have do I have zero mana or do I have one mana? I have one mana, so I probably want to 
emulate uh, command a friendly minion to attack its opposition ahead. Hmm. I'm curious. I'm gonna emulate the Thorn Tiger actually. Ooh, nice, nice artwork. I like it. Max mana. So now I have two mana. Draw a card. And draw a card. So you can draw one card per turn. I have. Oh wait, the draw card used a mana. Shoot. All right. Well, I guess I don't have a choice now. I can only play a Dire Wolf. I was going to play the Dire Wolf and play the Enraging Assault to see if um, basically we can give our uh, wolf haste. But uh, I don't know what these positions mean other than they're basically attacking from left to right. I have no mana left. Uh oh. Okay, so you can draw a card every turn. You can immolate. Um, you know what? I'm going to go numbers here. Um, when Battle Cry doesn't cost anything. Whenever they're healed. I guess I don't need the healing. Um, we'll sacrifice that. Let me... Ah, uh, shoot. Hmm. I don't know what this battle cry thing is does something when it enters the battle oh so it and when it enters the battlefield so I probably want to actually summon and we'll draw a card sure why not I don't know what the max number of cards is but uh, we'll end our turn oh okay I gotcha I got it, I got it. Um, so we want to emulate something. Um, I don't know if that's the best thing to do. So we can... I'm curious about that does it give does it reduce summoning sickness for so that gives plus one to all those uh no it doesn't do anything okay well oh i think so we can attack once and attack again? Is that right? Yeah, I got it, I got it. That makes sense. Well, it's not very nice. Not very nice of you at all. Um, so, we can immolate the cheetah, put down that there, and we can do that, I guess. And then it goes through and it attacks. I gotcha. I wonder if we heal ourselves. Oh, they have. Uh, 
Um. Uh, yeah, I'm going to emulate that. Play the cheetah here and that there. And an interesting game. Now this enemy is all about healing, which is kind of annoying. Um, I guess I'm going. What is this? Give your minion plus one attack and heal them for six HP. Oh, and if we heal them, yeah, let's do this. I can play this. No, the, each one of them has the whenever it is healed, and then we can we can heal each one for six HP. Nice. And they have plus one damage, and we can draw a card as well because why not? Oh, so we have a playing field that's limited to six creatures. Got it, and everything is attack plus one. I like I like the effects. This is good. This is good. Nice. Awesome. We'll attack and attack and attack. Oh, it looks like um, looks like we killed the tree ends. You win. All right. Skip! Oh! You can choose a card, gold, or experience, or skip. Hmm. I'm curious what leveling up does, so let's just go to level up. Please select a reward. Oh, you, you get a reward. At the start of each combat, shuffle two into. Oh, car oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. At the start of the combat against a boss, plus 15 HP, max HP plus 3. I like the uh, gold skull. I like uh, messing with the opponent. Oh, do you get all this too? Oh, oh, oh. You get all this as well. I thought you'd pick one of them. Heal a random damage. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unicorn, whenever it is attacked. Game plus one attack. Suicide. Add one. Add its HP to another friendly minion. Hmm. Well. Um. I guess. I'll take the unicorn. I'm not sure it was a good idea or not. I'm not playing with any kind of strategy here. Oh, so we definitely want to level up. Um, let's... What is this? Merchant. Uh, like a shop. You can be healed. Alright, let's grab another something or other card. Magic Spore and Spirit of Moon. Ah, yeah. The, the card, the effects, the, the graphics here is really nice. Hardly looks like it's Hurley Excess, does it? it? It looks very polished. It's very nice. To your surprise, there are two cards. Uh, once again, choose a friendly minion, put a copy of it into your hand. Yes. Nice. Alright, so we now have 17 cards in our deck. A couple of new cards. We have three of those, two cheetahs, because one of them transformed into the fairy. Um, yeah, nice. And... Should we go to the library? Unknown. I feel like I don't need to go that way. Let's go unknown. You mop up a cave of the ogres and rescue a ragged dwarf who claims to be a legendary forging master in the forest dwarves. Uh, so basically, you rescue a 
Okay, okay. The master is eager to express his gratitude. He intends to send you a treasure which he made himself. We got a healing cape. At the start of your turn, heal the equipped minion and adjacent ones for 2 HP. That's pretty nice. Vital Pendant. Whenever the equipped minion survives attack damage, heal 5 HP. Ho ho. I'll give that to a unicorn. Isn't that nice? And just, uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. What is this? Tutorial. Hero artifacts. Minion artifacts. So artifacts are labeled with a spike, with a sword. Artifacts with this symbol are for minions. Oh. Okay. Uh, minions are this symbol. So hero artifact is this symbol. Minion artifacts is this symbol. The dwarf puts the other treasures away. He thanks you again. Goes towards a different direction. Um, I guess we'll go in the library. We will pay some money this time and gain the same number of experience that we did last time. We'll go in the merchant and see what he has to offer. Probably some cards so we can purchase the Wisp Harpy plus game plus two attack for each friendly. We don't have any flying. Elf Pontifex. Summon a Wisp. It's interesting. It's got a, it requires a lot of mana, though, but I wonder if there's a unlimited summoning there. Uh, the Whisper. Give your minions, whenever it attacks the enemy hero, heal 2 HP. A healing, a hunting intellect. Draw one card for each minion you have more than your opponent. I like that. Okay. Wait, uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> that says already sold. Uh, what is this? Oh, your like enchantments, like upgrades and such. And uh, I like I like the wisp. Um, this might not be the best choice. I've been getting stuff that's all a lot of H, uh, a lot of mana. But um, let's just see how this goes. What's the alchemist cut? Upgrade minions or all right. Um, we'll go to the time pillar. Increase time. I don't know what good that does. I mean, that increases your... You go play roulette. 75% chance to gain 160. Why not? Oh, and we face another enemy. The Mad Magician. Summon a random one-cost minion in a slot. Hmm. Well, it looks like we're not going to have any let you disappear without traces, I promise. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like the Mad Magician has a lot more HP than the Tree Ant. That's the active skill. Um... We can immolate a dire wolf, I guess, and play a cheetah. And end the turn. That's interesting. Um, he decides not to play against me. I guess you can just play whatever, so he's looking to attack me instead. Um, Why not? We'll emulate this and play another cheetah. And, and we'll end our turn that way.
Okay. Tusk Boar. Temporary cards. When leaving the battlefield or entering the graveyard, they disappear. Hmm. That is there. I don't really want to take damage. Um, I guess we'll immolate the cheetah. We'll play the magic spore. And... I'll give that to this one, I guess. I maybe maybe I should have waited. Doesn't matter. Return a minion from the battlefield to its owner's hand. I guess we'll immolate. Wait. That, sure, why not? And we'll play the. the Thundeer. And that gives me the ability to. heal everything. I'm curious. what's gonna happen here. So this thing has three. I wonder if the 5 attack is going to go past it, if, if this just absorbs everything. Or if, if 3 is going to be here and go through. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't go through. Got it. Hmm. No summoning sickness there. Got it. Thorn, Tiger, or Cheetah. I guess we'll play... No, Cheetah. And we'll play the Tiger. And... We'll end our turn. Because the the actually yeah, the the tiger had the battle cry of on entering. Oh, I don't know. Let's do that, I guess. I I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. Do I only have that once? Oh, that's the end. I don't know when that's going to refresh or anything. So we get a rare artifact. Molten Ring. Whenever a friendly minion is summoned, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. I like that. Magic Mirror. Choose another minion artifact. Transform it into the artifact you choose. Three Feathered Clo- This one seems too complicated. It's not bad, it's just... You have to know what the cards are. The equipped minion gains flying. That's a really expensive. I like the Molten Ring. But it's whenever a friendly minion is summoned. So you have to keep on summoning. Flying seems like a good idea. Hmm. We'll take the Molten Ring. It's easier to use. 40 gold and 80 experience. So we can level up to level 3. Color Changing Pen. 
when getting it, transform three minions or spells. Uh, uh, no, Alright, the price of wires in the merchants decreases by 20%. Or gain three max HP. Uh, I'm good for cheaper items. What is the alchemist hut? Upgrade minions or spells. Oh, you can freely upgrade one thing or pay to. All right, let's let's just see what upgrades. Choose a minion plus. Wait, 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 what, what? What did I say before? Oh, it was a friendly minion. Now it's any minion. In other words, you can upgrade a enemy. You can put a copy of an enemy mini into your hand. That's pretty nice too. Roulette. Um, twenty gold. We'll pay forty gold. Oh, nope, didn't get anything. Oh, that's okay. Unknown. You find a worn jar in a nook. There are strange patterns in the jar. After carefully identify. It, you see the sun, the moon, and a towering tree. The seal is a gray paper that has been somewhat damaged. You can break the seal, obtain Dwarf Shaman, put back, minus, what is fly? Hmm. Dwarf Shaman, give all friendly minions plus two. Yeah, that's pretty good. Lose one not artifact, choose one from three, what? What? I'll take the Dwarf Shaman, I guess. It costs a little money. How dare you cheat the Great Demon? A spirit goes out with roaring. You stare at each other, standing in amazement. The demon looks at you with a disappointed expression appearing on his face. He takes out a card and says, Give me some gold coins, and I'll give you the card in exchange. That's what happened. Moonwell. That's where you heal. Uh, I wish I could see what's beyond there. Instead... Do I want to go this way or the moon? I guess we'll go this way. Didn't need more than that. Um, time pillar. Chest. Library. All right, let's go this way. Library. Consult. Let's just do that. Oh, we faced with another enemy at this time. Blood Overlord. Active skill, take two damage. Heal two HP for each friendly minion. Uh, that has nothing to do with me. It's all his own thing, so it's okay. Got the Elf Pontifex, which is a little too early. To me, that seems like a good time to be just immolating it, and uh, we'll just play two Dire Wolves. I like the idea of having two mana on the first turn. What is this? Oh, take five damage, draw a card. Hmm. Well, I don't like that at all. Hmm. We'll immolate this dire wolf and oh no. Well, oh, 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 right, I had the ability to give him the, um, right, yeah, okay, I gotcha. Mm.
that works. Wow, keeps on um, triggering these two curse cards that we give it. I was gonna be dead next turn. We don't. I don't even do anything. I can just wait for it to. I just wanted to do that. I mean, we're still gonna kill the enemy anyway. Um, it was a really easy fight. Well, let's see what card we get. Manticore gain multiple attack this turn. Multiple attack. It seems to be OP. Deviate Swarmer. All friendly tokens have plus one attack. Uh, I don't have any tokens, but I do have something that adds tokens. I like the Manticore. Seems to be pretty good. Oh, we can get another Flower Fairy. Seems like a good foundational build. Because the Manticore, again, it costs five. Let, let's go for the basic. Um, uh, it leveled up again. Mithril Box, when getting it, upgrade three random minions. Ooh, I like that. Portable Card Box, when getting it, choose one to be innate. What is innate? Do we have a glossary? I don't know what innate means, uh, but I like the idea of getting three upgrade minions. So let's uh, see what upgraded. Thorn Tiger plus one. Oh, I wanted it. Uh, that should have a little thing that lets you read it first. So we got the Magic Spore. Give all friendly one of us a healed game plus one attack. Oh, it cost one less. Dwarf Shaman, give all friendly attack plus two. Uh, I don't remember what it was before. And Thorn Tiger. Okay, the battle cry changed. Interesting. All right, hey, I like that. Spirit Altar, transform cards here. Roulette chest. Uh, I guess we can. What is this? Let's go this way. Go towards the upgrade. Magic Spore. Get a second chance. So. Uh, let's try the second chance just because we don't know what it is. Bullying. Draw one card for each max mana you have more than your opponent. Up to four cards. Okay. No, that is if your opponent doesn't actually time pillar. Okay. Okay, I see the benefit of having a little extra time. Um, we'll upgrade a random card again. Okay, so instead of just commanding, um, Moonwell, heal, we don't need that right now. Let's go to the blacksmith. We will upgrade one artifact, or we'll transform and upgrade it. We'll upgrade one artifact. Um, gosh, both of those are good. Let's upgrade the Molten Ring. Three damage. Yeah, that's good. But what about this one? Survives any damage instead of attack damage. I, I, like, I like the Molten Ring upgrade. Alrighty, let's go into the unknown. Alchemist. Oh, well, of course, we'll take the upgrade. What was it before? Uh, well, we've got, oh, 3 HP, so we got to heal for 3 HP instead of heal for 5 now. 
Got roulette, time pillar, moon well. Moon well will allow us to get to the library and gain some extra HP. Time pillar, increased days. Oh uh, yeah, we don't want to do that. Hmm. Oh, okay. Roulette, gold, time pillar. I like this path particularly. Okay, we'll take an extra day and we'll go to the alchemist hut and get another upgrade. The Thorn Tiger. Nice. So we got quite a few upgrades and now we have... Be careful! Boss is on the way! Boss coming. The surrounding suddenly gets dark. Clouds are building up. Among them there is lightning flashing. The wind is soaring, roaring, sorry, and even the elements in the air are turning to be manic. Boss is coming, get prepared. Oh, you can prepare with... I don't know what innate means. Somebody needs to... Exp I'm okay taking a, a level up though. Charred behemoth meat. Wow, max HP plus 20. Have all future HP recovery effects outside of combat. Hmm. I like the... Uh... One magician's hat, one getting it, copy one not artifact in your deck. Uh, uh, we'll take this. I don't like the reduced heal effect. Oh, you can copy any one card. What could you copy the Spirit Moon? El Pontifex Unicorn. I'll copy the unicorn. All right, here's the boss. Leah, that's it. What do you mean? Dragon of Arcanum. You have surrendered. To the devils, have you? Leah, you have no idea what you're going to face. At all. At least, I would never surrender to the devils. I'm shamed of you, Dragon of Arcanum. Forgive me, Leah. Well, if you want forgiveness, just walk away. That's a nice, that's a nice dragon image. Deal one damage to the opponent for each card in his hand. Oh, that is annoying. I need to know how many times I can activate the active skill. Shoot. Well, I gotta get rid of my hands as quickly as possible. Um, in order to do that, I've got... Uh, oh, shoot. Um... Let's emulate that. Play this. What is this? Whenever you take attack damage, take 50% chance to heal 2 HP innate. What is innate? Inherent will be in your hand at the beginning of every combat. Oh man, that is that is good. Hmm. All right, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to play the cheetah. And I'm going to play Enraging Assault. I can't. Oh no, I guess I'll draw a card. Uh, I guess the dragon can do some damage to me if he chooses. Oh no. Uh. I guess I'm going to emulate bullying. Um. 
This thing's gonna be really annoying to deal with. If your opponent loses one max mana of his three or more. Shoot. Um Hmm. This is annoying, annoying. I'm going to immolate the... one of those. I'm going to take a copy of this. And I'm going to... do that so it keeps on healing. Um... And we will attack once there. Oh, I, I cannot. It has to be an opposed minion. Got it. What? 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 Return a minion from the battle cry to a. How do you return all of them? What? Return... Oh! On the card it says return all minions cost 3 or less. Oh gosh. That is really annoying. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to... Immolate... The Dire Wolf. I'm going to throw this down, so... We reduce the max mana of one of our... of our enemy. We'll play that. How's that? So we don't want to obstruct this one. But five, one, three, two. I'm going to obstruct it anyway. What? Oh my gosh, there were three, there were two of them. I'm curious as to when I'm going to get that ability back. Pardon me. Oh gosh. Well. I guess the enemy decided to screw himself over there. I guess I'll immolate the cheetah. A hunting intellect. Oh, I don't really want to do that. Sure, why not? I. It's okay. 
even if the enemy ends up using his special ability, which I know you will. Yep. It's minus one. Um, actually, I probably want to play some stuff. Uh, unicorn. We'll emulate the wolf, I guess. And play this and this. Dwarf Shaman is just better. Well, the enemy has a bunch of uh, healing. Draw three cards. What was that? Each hero loses one max mana. Okay. Um, uh, can you discard? You can't discard stuff from the playing field. And looks like I can't actually... Oh, I, you need to... Ah, uh, got it. Well, let's do this. Everything gets plus one. We can draw a card, see if we draw anything useful. Um, I guess I'll emulate stuff just because I don't need the enemy to use the special ability to uh, attack me. Oh, well that's the end anyway. Okay. Didn't need to plan that too hard. First level, not so hard. We'll get an epic artifact. A blood bracelet. Um, after the equipped minion attacks the enemy hero, deal two damage to the enemy hero. And two... He wow. Vile dragon blood. Destroy a friendly minion. Heal three HP. You know, I could have used that. I could have used that. Um... Or merchant crossbow. Whenever you draw a card, deal one damage to the enemy hero. All well, these are pretty good. Um, all these are pretty good. I want all of them. Ah. <laughs> uh, After the equip minion attacks enemy hero, deal two damage. And heal two. I like this because, you know, I ran into the issue with all my slots being full. And I like the idea of being able to get rid of a card so I can put something else down. We get another gold brick. 150 gold or dust laden package. One random epic artifact and one random curse. Oh. Ah, uh, do I dare? I'm a little tempted. I'm tempted. Oh, wow, come back. I need to know what the silly curse is. Transformation. Oh wait, what? What was the curse I got? And the epic artifact. 
put a random card in your hand from your graveyard. Eh, okay. Unplayable. When it is immolate, discard two random cards. That's not so bad. And you can immolate it when it's the only card left in your hand. I, that's not exactly a terrible curse. I can deal with that. Now we're on floor two. And... Can I save? I hope I can save. Well, this has been a very interesting first look video. Looks like I healed after the first uh, floor, so it was good that I didn't pay attention to healing a whole lot. We can walk towards the time pillars. I don't know why I would walk walk this way, <laughs> walk this way and walk back. I want to be able to explore around. Um, so yeah, you can't see some of this stuff. So whatever you can't see, it doesn't tell you what it is. Portal. Transfer to a random place. Interesting. There's portals around here. Elite. Uh, okay, so you can actively seek out battles instead of just waiting your turn. Very interesting. So, yeah, this is a pretty nice game. Um, if you are into Magic the Gathering, if you are into... Uh, it doesn't quite play like Slay the Spire, but certainly in terms of card yeah, card collecting, um, uh, card-based driven battles and everything, this game is pretty good. There's only three stages, uh, three floors right now, and so it does seem that perhaps it is a little short. But it is an early access, and they're looking to add more floors, more cards, more heroes. Um, and of course, with each accompanying hero, there's clearly going to be a different starting deck. So, um, it, it's going to be interesting. I mean, there's quite a bit of versatility. The card game is pretty polished, and the graphics look nice. Um, the localization issues, there's not that much. I mean, everything is fairly easy to understand. Some stuff, you know, like this, uh, where's the time thing? I, I don't see one here. I actually don't remember what the symbol looks like. Uh, but the time's like, uh, it's not very clear. There's some cards that, on the card, like the enemy played last time, like, um, return all cards that cost three or less, all minions that cost three or less back into the hand. Um, but when you scroll over, it says, you know, return a card. So that's why I was confused at first. But everything is very easy to understand. And, uh, you know, th there's nothing that holds you back from actively playing this game. The graphics look polished. Um, so definitely a very successful first look. Um, for sure, it's a very interesting game. Fun to play, too. Um, nice atmosphere. Uh, so, uh, certainly I didn't encounter any bugs or anything. If you saw something I didn't, let me know. Um, if you're interested at all, you know, pick it up. Um, if you're not, you can wait until see what, you know, develops during the early access phases and go from there. I'm going to go back to the main page and uh, see if my game actually saved. Yeah, 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 there's a continue. So, looks like I can just continue wherever I left off. Um, probably only one uh, save game and sure you can just abandon it or you go back to the main page. There's no reason for me to abandon it. This version doesn't make a whole lot of sense. You don't know where the zero point anything is, but it seems like it's version 000004 it seems like an awful lot of zeros unless they're planning to upgrade, you know, <laughs> go by one. That's a lot of updates in order to get to version 1.0. <laughs> Regardless, um, yeah, real interesting. Looks like you can gain these. I don't know how to get those. Where, where was that? Was it here? Okay, so cards that you've played and uh, now have... Oh. Artifacts. Wait, didn't I have any? Did I not have any? Wait. Yeah, I had the Vital Pendant. Why isn't that lit? 
Hmm. That, so that, that's got to be fixed. Oh, and it shows you what the upgrades are. Ooh, that is good. That is good. Uh, oh, you can see for the different uh, people. Like, this orb of mana was for the bronze shaman. The mage... Wait, oh, did that... Did they just switch places? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, overall, really interesting game. Good, for sure. Fun to play. Um, could definitely occupy you for many hours. It is a roguelite, so there's going to be some progression in between levels, uh, in between runs. I don't know what it's going to do when you die or whatever, or if you finish. Um, looks like you're trying to escape the Devil's Grasp, and so there's three floors right now. We'll see how many end up being there. I don't know how the score goes. Uh, fastest victory. I don't know what that does. Oh, time. Oh, time. So it looks like some people can actually finish a run in half an hour, which is pretty crazy because I finished one floor. Although, granted, I was talking and mumble jumbling, mumble jumble, a bunch of random garbage in the middle. So this video turned out to be pretty long on just one floor, but you've got a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So um, if you're interested, definitely check it out. I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching. and. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know. I'd be happy to play more and record some more for you. Um, I might even do that anyway. I haven't decided. I'm just a little busy at the moment, so I can't, uh, you know, dedicate a lot of time to recording. But, you know, if somebody asks, I will definitely do it. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you had a great day. And I hope you continue to have a great day. Bye-bye.